Several weeks ago, I made the decision to join the AMA, Arizona Motorcycle Riders Association, and enter an enduro race. I was really apprehensive because my skills are still very limited. I don't know anything about racing, and it would be a five hour drive to the first race, but I nutted up and committed to going. To prepare, I read the rule book and did a lot of practice riding during the preceding week. We left Sierra Vista at 4 p.m. and drove late into the night. We arrived in Kirkland, Arizona after 10 p.m. and found lodging at the only hotel in town. It just happened to be a historic steakhouse and bar with a former brothel attached. The place was pretty sketchy as hotels go, but we just needed to get some sleep before the race day. This place had a rustic Old West feel to it. When we first arrived, I had the feeling that I was in a horror movie. I was never 100% sure that the locals weren't going to murder us in our sleep and make beef jerky out of our remains. Just in case, I wrote a will bequeathing all of my fat clothes to my buddy Scott. There were no bathrooms in the room. We had a shared facility instead. Oops, let me introduce you to my brother Robert. There's nothing to see here. I'm actually very grateful my brother came with me. He provided me with a lot of support. We woke up early, partially to get to the race early, but mostly because I had the worst night's sleep ever. When we got to the race, there was an initial culture shock, but the people were nice and helpful and I soon felt at ease. My race wasn't scheduled to start until noon and there was a riders meeting at 11.30. I was in the sportsman class, a non-scoring beginner class for riders who'd never raced before. We would start with the novice riders, completing three 10 mile laps of varying terrain and difficulty. The average lap time was supposed to take 30 minutes. My action cam only lasted till about eight minutes into lap two. This video is just some of the highlights. The whole race took me about two hours. To watch the unedited raw video of the first lap in eight minutes of the second, I'll put a link here. I got suited up and took a picture for posterity. Soon I moved down to the start area, where I suddenly realized I might be in over my head. Well, we're marshaling at the start line, and I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, so I'm just sitting here where they can see my number. A quick shot of the insanity. There seems to be no rhyme or reason to it, but somebody knows. Thankfully, the event organizers, Prescott Trail Riders with the assistance of Rockstar's Motorcycle Club, got things organized and got me sorted out. Being a first time racer, I had no idea what to expect. And to make matters worse, we weren't allowed to see what the track was gonna look like before we rode it. So I had no idea what was coming next.
came in first in the sportsman class. That's no big accomplishment. There was only two of us. Overall, for the novice riders and sportsmen combined, I came in 81 out of 95. This race was physically exhausting, and I was just happy to be able to finish it. I felt like quitting several times, but stayed determined till the end. Next up, the Copper Classic in San Manuel, Arizona. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs> no.